Okay, so I spent a bit of time with VCV Rack making a Juno 106. Um, I was inspired by my favorite slash only um, VCV YouTube guy, Omri Cohen, who does a lot of amazing videos, which you should all go check out. Um, and he's sort of like basically taught me how to use VCV. Um, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but he likes to sort of emulate hardware synths in VCV. And uh, he collaborated with this VCV dev, uh, MindMeld, to make these, um, you can see at the top of this patch here, um, these sort of macro controllers, um, which is kind of a game changer for VCV. And without that, I would have been able to make this patch, but I wouldn't have been able to have all of these controls that sort of look and behave like a Juno 106. Um, and so they all map to all of these controls here. And you can see down here, there's little squares next to the controls that are being manipulated. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd just run through quickly how it sounds and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's on a sort of initial patch at the moment. Um, but let's sort of zoom in on the top and just kind of make something better. It's never going to sound exactly like a Juno 106, but it's amazing to me how <clears throat> with one oscillator and six voices um, and a chorus, you can basically have a very convincing Juno 106 sound. Um, I've got the sub oscillator here. <laughs> filter. The high pass filter is a little bit more resonant than probably the original, which is, I think, a very sort of non-resonant filter. Um, and the filter quality is, well, not quality, but the, the sort of timbre of it is going to be a bit different. It's not like a um, one of those Roland, I don't remember what the code name is, one of those Roland filter clones or anything. It's just the, it's just the VCV bog standard, um, filter. Uh, there are many filters for VCV rack, many free ones, but I decided to go with the sort of basic one, um, or just the, the stock standard packaged one, um, cause it sounds good and I think it, you know, it works. Um, but I've got, you know, all of the features. <clears throat> I literally just copied the front panel. Uh, like I looked at pictures of the front panel of the Juno 106 and was just like, well, there are all the features. And the reason I chose the Juno 106, other than that it's like a classic and sounds great, is because it's very simple. And I wanted to start with something extremely simple. Um, <clears throat> got positive and negative envelopes.
So there are a few areas where I change the design um, because the filters down here have a drive control. I decided to just add the filter drive to this. Um, I also decided to add uh, four different types of noise. Just get this envelope. Um, just because I could, I could have actually added five, but five didn't fit, <laughs> so so four. Um, and I've got two different chorus types, which I've used uh, this Joris analog chorus. Used two of them because they have a one and a two setting. Um, and rather than sort of flip between them, I just, it was easier to have two set to each one. Um, anyway, they both sound good. I don't think that they're exactly like the Juno chorus, but they're, they're good. They sound good. I also added depth and rate because why not? Excuse my terrible playing. My keyboard's off to the side. It's kind of hard to reach. Um, anyway. I might upload this somewhere because I think all of these uh, modules that I've used are free. I think the only two that I have here, which are sort of not the free version, is this Joris, but there is a free version of Joris, which is exactly the same. <clears throat> it's just that uh, when you pay for it, it comes with a bundle with like all the free ones plus a few extras. So it's kind of like it's the paid one, but it's free if you want it. I don't know how that works if you like loaded this up and you only had the free one, if it would just sort of slot it in, maybe. Um, either way, you could like slot it in. Maybe I'll make one with the free version of it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, so there's one other feature here, which I'll just quickly play around with, which is the pulse width. Oh, I need to put it on pulse. Let's uh, turn that off. I've also got this delay on the LFO, which was more difficult than I thought it would be to rig up. It's actually very simple. I just put a envelope <laughs> on it. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all. I just wanted to sort of run through this. Uh, it's a remarkably simple patch, all things considered, but I'm pretty proud of myself to putting it together. I'm going to make more synths. Uh, I want to try my hand at something more complicated. Um, maybe not too complicated, maybe, but maybe something that like, I wish I had, like I used to have, um, uh, Roland Super JX or MKS 70, um, which is two JX 8 P's stacked on top of each other. So maybe I'll make like a JX 8 P cause it's not that different from this. Um, and that could be fun. Anyway, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>